One local organization is using a unique approach to bring awareness to the dangers of sex trafficking in our area. Our Sarah Winkleman joins us live from the Brainerd studio now, our Brainerd studio with the details. Sarah? Yeah, Dennis, one Hackensack woman is using her outdoor wood-fired oven to bake over 10,000 loaves of bread that she then sold at local markets and then took that profit to donate to a cause that hits close to home. Being exploited um, sexually and physically and mentally and emotionally in um, a harem scheme for his own pleasure. That's Rachel, a 2008 graduate of Walker Hackensack Akeley High School who experienced sex trafficking close to home and today shares her story in hopes that others won't go through what she did. Putting a face on it and showing that this does happen to normal people from small town Minnesota. In order to get the message out, one Hackensack woman who is a retired marriage and family therapist started baking bread to raise funds. The damage this, that um, sexual assault does to people, it, it's um, a core, I would say even a soul injury. And it starts with a five-step grooming process that can happen when you least expect it. My perpetrator, he was a lawyer. He was four years older than me. He was very attractive. He had lots of female friends. Everybody wanted to date him. Very intelligent. But no matter how smart they appear, this group of women is even stronger and they are ready to stop sex trafficking. It's easy to get riled up and excited about these issues, but it's hard to keep having these conversations on a daily basis. Yeah, One Loaf at a Time hopes to continue that conversation of local sex trafficking, and that includes education and giving warning signs to help local youth and young adults stay safe. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd studio tonight. More information about the One Loaf at a Time organization can be found on our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.